Okay. Okay, now, so let's start. So I think everyone is here. So everybody, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, hey, so we're going to start our presentation um, after reopening of our nursery. So see, this is just, uh, what you call this, this is just a refreshing because we had already training last November too, right? Have you remember that? Okay. Okay. Now let's start. Will you please mute from your side? Miss Anna, so many pang mute, Miss Anna. <laughs> okay. If you are facing on your camera, so on the left side, you will see mute, stop video, something like that. On your right, on left side, if you're facing of your camera. Can you record that record? Not record, Ate. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here. Yes, Ate, yes. So I will start sharing the SharePoint right now. So the guidelines of after reopening of the nursery. So the purpose that is to ensure the safe day-to-day -day operations after the suspension period and to ensure well-informed to develop and implement policies that address operational guidelines related to children, parents, and staff in the post-COVID-19. Okay, so what we, are, what we have, the objectives is, the main objectives are to provide nurseries with guidance on the reopening process. So we already op open. So we're on the go, right? Because we passed and everything what we had prepared for reopening. Now we're on the go. So we're just refreshing what we had trained last, last time. So next is preparing for accepting children after the suspension period. So this is what we are doing every day, sa? maintaining safe and day-to-day -day operations, ensuring children are protected from contacting the virus the health and safety of all nursery staff, awareness and education of COVID-19 and how to prevent its spread in the nursery. Create safe environment for learning. Parents receiving information about the prevention and spread of COVID-19 and safety protocol implemented. So uh, in our side, we're, uh, for example, in the admin, they're doing this rules and regulation and inform the parents through email what we are having here. All right, so next is leaving the house procedure. We have to follow the protocol and procedure of the nursery. So before leaving the, the house, of course, we are wearing the PPE, uh, just only face mask. We remove already this wearing the raincoat, right? And then when we come to the nursery, before entering the nursery, we have to remove our, what? Our face mask, and then we will have the new one. And then our shoes as well, we have to remove and we have to put new one. Our shoes from outside, we're going to seal with the plastic, right? And then we have to wash our hands before entering before entering to each classroom. Washing hands and sanitation is required before going to designated area, right? And the staff must come 10 minutes prior to their duty timing. So as you can see here in the picture, see, from the house to the nursery. So this is the our house, this is eyes, and this is the picture, uh, picture of the shoes we are going to put in the plastic, sealed with the plastic. And then our face mask, we have to throw it to the garbage and we will have the new one. And we're going to have to take uh, temperature before we enter the nursery. And then next, for the visitation, the visitors. The visitors will make a phone call to have an appointment before visiting the nursery, right? The visitors will follow the entry procedures 
before entering the nursery, such as temperature check, perform hygiene, and wear appropriate pro personal protective equipment at all times. If a visitor does not pass the screening process or does not follow nursery protocols, they are not allowed to enter the nursery. So we will, in the visitation time, we will just have 10, 10 minutes maximum, uh, in between 10 to 11, and visitor only permitted at a time. Its visitor has 10 minutes maximum to stay in the nursery, or else they have, um, if they are not permitted to get inside, they have to stay outside until they're allowed to enter. But the thing is, um, much better they're not, they're not coming in until the children are still inside the nursery. So in order to avoid the transmission of the virus, yeah? Entry pr procedure. We all ensure that the temperature of each one of us, any person entering the nursery is checked and that temperature is below 37.5 degrees Celsius right and the nurse or the security must examine all the stuff so actually is the one who is examining examine our temperature and the nurse is the one who examine the temperature of the children when they are arrived in the nursery then the parents are all or authorized member of the family is allowed to drop and pick up the child from the nursery so there should be one person, for example, a, a parent cannot come. So there's one person or a, a parent call to the nursery that I will ask, I will bring someone to pick up my daughter or son, something like that, that it's already written in the, what do you call this, in the reception that this person only is authorized to pick up my daughter or son. Then next, ensure children bugs are disinfected by their parents before they enter to the nursery. Ensure that children have their own meal brought and provided by their parents. Uh, see, as you can see that the child or the parents prepared their, prepare the, uh, the parents prepare the food for their children here in the nursery. So, and then we are, sorry. Next, all support and maintenance services such as repair and distribution of shipments must take place after the nursery operating hours while enforcing all the precautionary measures, including checking the worker's temperature before entering the building. So this is what we have noticed that uh, if there is shipments or distribution, we're not allowing them to come in when the children are here. Or else, if there is a shipment, have we noticed that only outside of the building, right? We accept that one only outside of the building and directly to sanitize. Have you noticed that? This is what we're doing at, um, when there is a shipment. We're not bringing it directly inside, we have to. Uh, we are asking the housekeeping to do the disinfectant before bringing it inside the nursery. So when the child enter to the nursery, we are removing the child's shoes and bring them directly to the to the washroom and wash your hands. And then the shoes that from outside we have to put inside the plastic and seal it properly, and then we're giving them a new shoes or a sleeper. Then the bag for what you call this, their lunch box. So the person who handling the food before, before what you call this, before handling, before holding that bag, you have to wash. We are washing our hands before taking out the things from inside. Yeah. And then this lunch box or the meal from the child we're only putting it on one box only have you seen this picture when a child and the bug and then all together their breakfast lunch and snacks in one lunch box just for one child only 
Next is testing plan and emergency preparedness. So the nursery conducts a compulsory COVID-19 test for all employees before returning to work and thereafter once every two weeks or when symptoms are detected or with suspected cases. The, the, um, have you remember that even we're preparing here the nursery, we went to, we went before coming to the nursery, we had the test, you see, yes, this is one of the requirements. And then on the go process or while on the nursery is already operating, we have tests every two weeks, right? Okay, so the person in charge is notified immediately in the event that COVID-19 symptoms are detected in the facility. This person is responsible to report any symptoms such as fever. No, this is like 37, 37 I think. 37 onwards, degree Celsius or higher than that. And then constant dry coughing, shortness of breath, sore throat, diarrhea, nausea, headache, loss of sense and smell. The person in charge must develop a plan to notify parents and inform them of any further developments related to the suspected cases. Just in case, for example, we have already, uh, we have already positive here, right? And then who is responsible to inform the parents? Like for example, Madame Mosa is the, the person who informed to the parents that what is going on here and there is a person had positive so that they are all informed and will, uh, so they will do take action from their side as well. So next, any employee with positive COVID test result is prohibited entering the nursery. Yes, of course, they are not allowed to come here until 14 days. So, so they are quarantined their self into 14 days and after that, and must have obtained a negative COVID-19 COVID test result. So those who have having a positive, so they will quarantine their self into 14 days 14 days and then after that she will have this a test again when she is already negative and having this result that's the time she can resume to work okay an isolation room is allocated and compliant with the requirements set by the ministry of health and prevention and written procedure for dealing with suspected and confirmed of covid19 is developed so the Ministry of Health and Prevention, those who are on positive one, they are letting them to isolate. They have to quarantine themselves. And then the nursery keeps all of the following details, the name, the telephone number, identity number, and visit tape in employee or visitor or child record. And an undertaking by parents is available informing the nursery of any recent visits to hospitals or medical care centers for themselves, their children, or any family member residing with them. See, like this. Next, any undertaking by parents is available to check the temperature of their children and identity, any signs before leaving home. So the children before leaving from the house, so the parents, is checking they have to check they they must to check the temperature before leaving the house then the nursery is informed of the decision to be taken by spea or school of public and environmental affair if more than one positive covid 19 case a child or an employee are detected and under the taking by parents is available stating that parents must refrain from bringing their children to the nursery if they are unwell and if any symptoms. Of course, if a child is already sick, so they have, uh, for example, if a child is or okay, is in a good condition and when 
when a child reach to the nursery in a sudden a child gets sick so so the nurse or a person who is right to inform the parents and then of course immediately they have to go home and then the parents they will not bring their child until the child well all right or might be sometimes a parents will they're thinking that their child is already okay it's a good condition but when they reach here that we still feel not okay so we have to force them or we have to call their attention that they have to bring their child home and keep their child until they are in a really really good condition all right Written procedures are developed for dealing with suspected cases of COVID-19, which consider the age of the child and any possible panic situation that may occur. Create and maintain record of that data for all children and nursery staff during attendance at the nursery. So we're all responsible for that to maintain a record and a the temperature, a child who is present and everything. And then also we have to contact the child who is not around and we will ask them how are they and everything so that we will know what is the situation of the child so that when they come, so we already know that this child is nothing happening at home. They just maybe mother or a parent is on vacation. That's why he is not coming to the nursery. So next, develop a plan to notify parents of their children's health develop, developments while at the nursery. The nursery is continuously following the up on the testing children and the staff and undertakes tracing all, all suspected contacts in case of a confirmed positive case. Yeah. The nursery has developed and follows a written procedure that prohibits suspected cases from entering the nursery until quarantine period is completed and a negative result is obtained to ensure they are free from infection. So this is what we're going to do. So next we are going to uh, this uh, physical distancing. So a distance maintained by all staff in all areas, classroom, play areas in, in any areas in a common areas so i will just what you call this i will just share like for example early in the morning when we when we enter to the nursery of course we are following ten, we are following the protocols the procedure so i would suggest that everyone that you have to go to your designated room even though you don't have you don't have children yet like for example, of course you have to greet your greet your colleagues and everything, and then you go straightly to your to your bubbles, to your classroom, even though you don't have children. So in order to avoid avoid the contamination of the virus, right? Transmission of the virus. A staff entry. This is my suggestion only. Hopefully everyone will understand for that because nowadays we're still on the pandemic situation so please a staff entry and exit exit is scheduled at the rest time is followed to limit the number of employees for each room so each one of us because we are already having um section where to stay so please all of us we have to stay in each designated area so celebrations such as a special activities and festival are suspended yes we stop doing doing celebrations and the daily routines activities that may increase the transmission of infection are suspended yeah see everyone is doing this but we just having refreshing you know reminding reminding to everyone we might maybe uh, we're thinking that someone already uh, is all right, but she's forgetting. So we do this refreshing. 
due to the difficulty of applying physical distancing in the nursery, that's why we are divided the children into two different groups, right? And then keep in one group or one or two, three children's playing something like that in the learning environment and does not mix to other group. For example, like for example, you don't have a child, then uh, that group, that group is many, um, what to call this, maybe four children are present and then maybe they need help. But in your group, you don't have that child. It's okay, you can go and help for that. But, but when you have already one child and this other group has four child and need help, you don't need to go there. Why? You already with that child already. So as we, as we mentioned before that to avoid contamination or the transmission, so we don't need to mix it. So no need. You don't need to go to that group unless if you don't have a child with you since in the beginning or starting in the morning until the end of the day. All right. A number of the staff assigned to each group of children must remain in the same group with another group to avoid mixing of the group. This contributes physical distancing between children from one group with children from one group to avoid transmission of infection. So here, uh, this is related to physical distancing. A model of grouping or clustering has been developed in the nursery, which includes the following. Of course, see, as we mentioned while ago, dividing the children into separate groups. We don't need to mix to other groups. Even you are up, you are here in funds too. And with the first steps, you don't need to come down and bring the child. No need to be mixed with the other children. No need to mix with the other groups. Stay where you are. Although with you don't have already, your child already go home. So you have to stay on your classroom only. Of course, if you want to go to your personal necessity, you can go. But you don't need to pass by and stay in that classroom. You just say hi, that's all. Even though you don't have children anymore, do your things, prepare your activity. So, please, if you prepare your activities for the following day, or you have to prepare ahead of time. So, so if you don't have the child already, make yourself busy. And then, teachers, caregivers are assigned to each group of children. The teachers, caregivers, must remain with the same group of children to which they have been assigned. Please, whoever, children, wherever or whatever, which group you are in, please stay where you are, okay? And then if you want something to take, you know, you want to do something, you just do on your bubbles only. If you want to take some materials from the other classroom, Maybe if you are not busy anymore then, or early in the morning, if you want something from the other classroom. So you have to take early in the morning or else when the children already gone in the afternoon, you can take and prepare everything that what you want, what you want from that classroom. This is just my opinion. And then for, for safety, for all safety, for all of us. Okay, during the use of the nursery facility, no group should use the same facility with another group to avoid mixing of groups. Uh, that's why we're having um, the garden, shall we say the garden. That's why each one, each day has one group only will go there and use that area. So in order to avoid the groups, the group, the children, right? So everyone is following that. Thank you. Any mixing of groups of children are sharing the same classroom is strictly prohibited. Of course, this is really, really not allowed. Really, really not allowed. Please, everyone, 
um, maybe one person is forget and then go to mix to the other group, you can tell, please, each one of us is responsible. Each one of us can tell, can inform that this one, please, you can you please go back to your place because we are not allowed to do mixing we are ensuring no physical contact between children from one group with children from another in order to avoid transmission this is what we are telling about avoiding the transmission of infection avoid direct contact like kissing and hugging the children this is strictly prohibited if you saw someone hugging please tell them in a nice way maybe she forgot please call her attention even she is a teacher even she is a nurse even she is the receptionist even she is a security everyone everyone please please we can talk to them in a nice way call their attention please i think this uh, this is not allowed because you know what we are really really want them to hug you know we are really miss them hugging so what we can do what we can do to the child so we are going to teach them to open their arms and hug themselves it's like you're showing their you're showing your love that you love them you give them hug right open arms and close see this is, uh, see, as you can see the picture here, the sample is to illustration to, uh, to, to be avoided. Like in one group to other group to transfer and mixing together. This is really, really not allowed, prohibited, okay? And next illustration, see, as you can see the picture hugging and a child, even though you don't kiss, but a child kiss, this is really not allowed and you know, in order to avoid transmission of, transmission of the virus. Although we all know that we are physically fit, but nowadays this is uh, the rules and regulations, so please. <laughs> okay, we have to understand each other. So next, Personal protection and hygiene. So we are all clean and sanitize all the surfaces of the nursery on a daily basis. Perform effective sanitation, sterilization mm -hmm. the end of each day and perform cleaning process to comply the guidelines of the authorities. So whatever we are using, the, the toys, the equipments, we are asking our housekeeping to do the sanitation. And when a child leaves already and no one is there, the, the housekeeping should do the cleaning process. Both staff and vis visitors should wear face masks inside the nursery at all times. Uh, please, uh, I have suggestion also that we all, we are all know that our face mask, we should remove every two hours this is for our safety also so every two hours please remove because we are we are uh, dealing with the children we are staying with the children so i prefer that everyone should remove the face mask and change into new into new one every two hours all staff must have hand sanitizer and its use must be monitored to prevent the child and effect uninfected on it. Yes, when we are going to use the sanitizer, we have to be, uh, be careful. To be careful to the child around us that they're not be, because the child is not allowed to use sanitizer because it might be goes to the eyes or they might for example, it's in their hands, they might leak it. This is not allowed. This is not good for the children. So we are only encouraging them or we are encouraging everyone just to, ha to hand washing and avoid using, use, still, uh, what they call this? Hand sanitizer for the children. All right. 
help for those children don't know or cannot reach the same we all help and support the children wash their hands wash the hands of the babies who cannot wash their hands right and the nursery is not choosing any cleaning sanitation or sterilization products that may harm the health of children and those individuals suffering from respiratory diseases. Sterilization should take place after dealing with a child and before moving to another child. Yes. Like for example, in, in the garden, so one group is using that day nobody can go there until until it was clean and disinfect or cleaning and wiping and everything the equipment that we are using in the garden or any places that any group that has been used that that area that day nobody can go there until the housekeeping or until it will until the cleaning process is done, all right? Clean and sterilize the bus and shoes when entering the nursery. Um, we are not using anymore this spray because this is not allowed because as Ms. Ratibat said that it might go to our eyes, goes to the eyes of the children, so we stop using that. Use sterilized wipes to clean patch electronic devices such as phones and computer or belongings. So please, please don't forget, don't forget because our hands is wherever we are, wherever to touch our hands because see, our, we have only two hands. So we don't need to forget to always wash your hands and sanitize your or use wet wipes to wipe your any belongings with you. Shoe bags are placed in the entrance of the premises so that require children to take off their shoes. We have already the boxes for the child that are uh, labeled with four shoes only, right? For the children. Okay, toys, equipments, and tools. Toys and dolls with complex or difficult to clean are not used. We kept already, we wrap it with plastic and kept already in the store. All equipment in the classroom are sanitized, toys, sorties or spryons and arts and art and props materials after its use. So this is what we're doing every day in our daily basis. After we're doing the activity we had with the children, we ask the housekeeping to sanitize immediately. All right. And those toys that toys in each box we're letting them to sanitize after after the child left to the nursery and then there is also a box designated to isolate toys like for example while child is while the child is playing and then a child in a sudden the child is a sneeze right or a child put the toys directly in their mouth so we're going to take out that one and put it on that boxes we have already the boxes in each classroom right so we'll just put that there okay and then we are going to take a child to the washroom and wash their hands again then bring them back to play wherever possible children are provided with their own exclusive tools so there they can bring their own toys also as well but this one washable but if it is like toy dolls that is close yeah. work, we're not allowing them to bring it. We're not allowing them to play inside the nursery. Certain parts of the play areas that are difficult or full to fully sanitize are closed, removed after its use. All right. Quality and not be changing. Not in changing areas and the routine of the bathroom used for young children should follow specific guidelines for cleaning and sterilization or might spray of sanitizer. So, so and in each child went there after that, a housekeeping will go and clean. Then we, that's the time you can bring the child again. 
Staff should wear face masks, gloves, and disposable apron all the And diaper keep inside the plastic and shields thrown to the disposal area. The housekeeping will clean immediately to spray the surfaces. So the gloves and the, and the disposable apron. So you have, you have to remove every child you are going to bring there. You have to put new one. Every time you bring a child, please remove and put new one. Don't keep this apron for a long time. Yeah, especially when you enter to the, to the toilet. So please remove and put new one. All right. Please don't forget. Then help the children. Help the children wash their hands and wash the hands of babies who cannot wash their hands and avoid using a sanitizer who tend to lick or suck their fingers. As we've mentioned a while ago, that we don't need to give the sanitizer to the child. Then the staff should wash the hands and sanitize regularly. So every time or before handling a child, you have to wash your hands first and sanitize your hand regularly. Okay, please. Children workers should bring a child one at a time. As I, as I said, we have to bring the child one at a time. Though we have so many children waiting, we have to bring them one at a time. Okay, please. Please be guided. And children who are undergoing potty training and encouraged to use the potty when necessary at the nursery. So we all responsible that child might not talking, might not talking to go for toilet, but he is already trained at home. So we are the responsible to ask from time to time and then bring them so that they, you know, a child all keeps on playing and forgetting what is their feeling. You no, know, even though they are feeling to pee, but they just, they don't mind it. So this is our responsibility, a responsibility to ask every time or, or bring them. Children are encouraged using the toilet or potty and to be independent with the supervision of the adults. Yes, all of us are responsible to encourage a child to go and using toilet and encourage them to be independent while we are there to supervise them. Children should be encouraged to wash their hands and have soap and tissue to hand to dry. Yeah, or of course, we have to encourage them. Of course, we are there also to assist them, though they are not, they cannot reach directly to the water and wash with and hand take the sabun. Of course, we are going to give them and try to the, try them to wash their own hands. Good hygiene routines are encouraged. Regarding toilet flushing, use of toilet paper and hand washing. Yeah, we will try them to, or we will teach them, or we will encourage them to flush the toilet, then wipe their self with the use in the tissue and do hand washing. And of course, we are also there to support in order to wash them properly. All right. Next, ensure you have clean nappy wipes and any other supplies like white rolls is put. This is for small ones, for the infants. So though we're not, uh, infants is not here yet, but we will just include. Ensure that, ensure you have clean up wipes and any other supplies like white roll is put down on the changing mat freshly for each child before changing the child. This one must be ready. Put a new set of gloves and a new disposable apron on before and after changing the child. All right, children should be encouraged to wash their hands and have soap and towels to hand. Ensure you fully engage singing and talking to the child while changing. Of course, you have to do, do conversation with the child. You keep on talking so that they're encouraged also to talk. 
you know, to answer you. And practice their mouth to open on how to talk. Place all the time, all the things inside the, the bag, sorry. You have to keep it in order after cleaning the child. We have to do all the time this one. When we do cleaning the child, we have to keep everything inside so that we might not, or we might miss the things so that we don't miss the things in their bag. So while we are, or after changing the child, you have to keep in order all the things inside the bag. So to avoid missing things. And then you have to write down on an happy chains or an happy chart or a daily communication book. So we have the communication book. So whatever you had, whatever you deal with the child, you write it on and write the date and everything. So that a parent uh, might ask, so we can show the communication book and everything. So the facility cleaners are available to ensure that proper procedures are followed when cleaning, such as wearing face masks, gloves, Please, if we, saw, uh, if we saw our housekeeping, each one of us saw the housekeeping, we are responsible to tell them. Just they have to wear the face mask and the gloves. Yes. And they have, and the area after changing the mask, must spray with the antibacterial sanitizing, spray and wipe thoroughly with tissue and paper. Yeah. We have because we are all responsible. So handling the food, handling or preparation of the food must follow a sanitary procedures regarding a handling of food containers and items in order to avoid cross contamination and spread of COVID-19. A staff must wash their hands before and after handling each child belongings. Please don't forget all right, parents are encouraged to send or bring food, snacks, meals that children can manage independently. So, uh, like, for example, that we are telling them to encourage them to be independently. So we are going to prepare what we have in their boxes. We show to them what they really want or keep in front of them, and then they're going to take. And then, of course, when, when, when we saw a child, they don't like to eat much. So we are there to assist them and encourage them to eat something like that. Staff, staff must encourage children to be independent by handling their own food, containers, or meal times and follow sanitary process. Washing hands, of course, before giving their food, you have to wash your hands. And then we will not share their food and using their own, and they have to use their own utensils and feed themselves. If the children need to support, then of course we have to support all of us. Okay. Clean and disinfect tables, chairs, and high chairs before and after children eat. So we don't need to forget that before. Eating, we have to ask the housekeeping to do the sanitation or clean the surfaces. And after that, we have to call the attention again to the housekeeping to do the same thing for cleaning process. Okay. Feeding bottle. If we have a child is having a bottle feeder, we have to ensure to follow the sterilization protocol for infants and children who are bottle fed. Children workers are required to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds. As our, have you, know, have you remember our nurse demonstrate on how to do hand washing? So we have to do that. Please. Sometimes we forget, right? We just put sabun and then we do like this directly. But it's really nice to follow, to follow the the sequence on how to do hand washing, right? Children, and also you have to teach while you are with the children. Show, even, uh, even uh, when you are going to bring the child for washing, just show to them, right? 
until they will get used to it and then they will do the sequence from time to time. Children are required to wash their hands in 20 minutes before and use as handling the bottle. How to prepare a bottle feed? Clean the surface, a surface before preparing the bottle meal. Boil the water. Wash your hands with soap and dry your hands before handling the bottle. Measure and pour desired water amount. Mix thoroughly by shaking the bottle. Dry the outside of the bottle with a clean paper towel. Check the temperature by dripping the milk inside the wrist and it should be lukewarm. All right. Next, here is the illustration on how to, in preparation of the, of the bottle feed. So you're going to wipe the surface, wash your hands, dry your hands, and then you're going to boil the water. All right. I'm sorry. Then, uh, see, make sure the, and pour the desired amount of milk and water, then you're gonna shake it. Then when you're going to check when it's hot or what, and it's ready to give to the child, you have to drip the, to check the temperature on your wrist here, this area. Okay, that's all. Ensure that everyone must follow their requirements and safety procedures at all times to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Thank you for, and have a great day for spending your time with me and stay safe everyone. And if you have any question, you are, okay, um, you can ask now. Miss Anna. Mm. Yeah, I have a question, can you, can you explain it again to them about the hair, you know, of the child? Because the last time you have discussed that one, because I what have you have said is, have is, is quite different of what, of, of what has Miss Coltom told me. So okay. can you tell, in, for, for, for the, it, this is for the, for, for everyone to know as well. Yes, yes. Thanks for asking for that. With that, Ate Marie, I, I really forget to put that one. This yeah, I know, I know, I know that you told me that you have to mention that one. Yes. All right. So everybody, so that everybody will know about it. Um, yeah. The other day, I went to the office and asked also to Miss Asma uh, regarding that, but Miss Asma told me if it's with the child's belongings, so we can use it. And we will not spend more time with the child to make more and more decoration. Just type in order the face is clean. How about Miss Asma? Any uh, comment about it? Regarding this uh, having hair pon uh, ponytail? Miss Kalto, you were around? Because the other day we were discussing regarding that. Then to make it clarified, that's why I went to Miss Asma office. And then as Miss Asma, Miss Asma said that we can use as long as it's for children's belonging. We are not using from one child to another child. That's all. So I think I answered with that question, Ate. Yeah, and, and another yeah, uh, at at least uh, every one of us is informed already. Another thing, Miss Anna, can you he still hear me? Mm, yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah and, and another another thing, Miss Anna, you you have just mentioned that each of the class they have uh, uh, a schedule for in the garden, right? Yes. So is it okay because there was one time that like if in the class of Miss of Miss uh, Iman is only one. Mm. And then the other class is only one. So can they join at least somebody, although they still, the, the, the protocol has still been followed, like the social distancing, that two child can go out because at least one child can see that the other one is playing. So is that okay? Is that, is that uh, per, 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 permissible by, by, by the nursery? Uh, at least two of them, like one class for Miss Iman and one class to Miss Iman, they join together. 
just for the game at least there is a, 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 a competition and at least the child is is enjoying while she can see another child at least yeah, yeah. so is, is that still acceptable or not yeah this is acceptable Ate, because there were only they are div they're having only division here in this bubble yeah. in okay, front fine. Of the okay. first step they can be together Ate, because see mm. only the division made them separate Although yes. Ian and Dalin are changing to other child and they are still in one in one section. Although the division mm -hmm. only. That's why we decided that they can join together because Haram Puram Puri, I think, last week. Yes. Mm -hmm. she's alone. But mm -hmm. in our side here, Don, future bus and little bus, we are really strictly no need to join for other side even though the infants too and from first step they're not allowed to go down and join us but this yeah actually I, actually miss and i'm just talking because for for, for miss iman miss salma and our class because they are in same age but i don't think your class and the class our class and the class of miss of miss Nachla, of course even if they are one together they cannot join because of the age gap Ate, because nowadays we we made we made the grouping so we cannot mm -hmm. if, although they are in the I same group future bus but we cannot make them together. Yeah, of course, of course. That's why I'm telling. Yes. Because age wise also they're not the same. Yes. So to Miss Iman and Miss Alma is fine because they have of same age. Yeah. They are still our our children in the future yes, bus. Yeah. And then yeah, they're also passing in the same area as. Yeah. Well. If yeah okay uh this is the situation Ate. for example mm. in that bubbles if they have separate door and separate uh classroom so this one they are not allowed but only okay. the division they we had in that room so they can be together because when they passing so where are they going only only passage is one right so mm. they can be together they are pretty okay. to be joined together. But this okay. up going down, even though they are the same future bus, but they are not allowed. Mm. Yeah, I do understand. Yeah, not fine. Clear? Yeah. Clear for yeah. everybody? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Anyone? Anyone have question? Please raise your question. Miss Anna. Yes, please. How about others if they're not bringing uh, uh, any brushes for their hair? Oh. What we're going to do if they, when they woke up, if uh, their hair is messed, so what we're going to do only, we will make tight only? No need to touch anything. If they don't bring that, anything, yeah, it's... no. Don't put, don't tie anything. Don't give any belongings from the nursery. As uh, we How about other kids like that? So let them like uh, go home with the mess hair, messy yes, hair. Yes, yes, yes. Because they don't bring anything. So what we will okay. do? We have. I think that to remind the nanny should remind the parents that next time they have to bring. Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. We have to be. Uh, we have to be reminded that we don't use any any belongings from other child. Though that we can see the hair is really messy, we want to tie it, but we don't need to use anything from the nursery. See, no, even our hands only, Miss Anna. Like our hands only, we will take the ponytail and then we will tie only by hand. Our hands, no need to use any brushes. No, 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 don't yeah. use, don't use, please don't use. No, no, we not use, but I will, uh, like, what I mean, like sometimes one other kid, uh, my. Uh, hurry, like not hurry every time she brings the brush, but the other also uh, other section to to remind also what they were going to do. Also, like yes. they can tightly with the ponytail without using brushes, it's okay. Yes, 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 as long okay. as their ponytail, as yeah, okay, as therefore, as long as their belongings belong to them, we can use them, okay. but we don't, we are not allowed this. For example, hurry brings so many uh, rubber bands. We will not take from Rohori and to another another child. No, 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 no. But for example, Hori forget rub uh, forget the comb, and then she has this uh, ponytail. We can use our hands to do like this. And okay. No need to. Okay. 
right? Yeah, okay, Miss Alma. Okay, now it's answer. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Any question, please? Uh, Miss Anna. Oh, hello, Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. I miss you. Sultan. Eh, yeah. yung... How about Sultan? Papa. Sultan always bring a uh, apple, no. but we need to cut and... We need to... Where I use the knife? Habib... In the kitchen? In the kitchen, or... I think it's fine. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Can I answer now? All right. Okay, I asked Miss Atiba before because uh, one child bring this apple, a big apple, and then of course they cannot bite it. So she mm. said, "What we will do? We have to cut. We will use our kitchen knife." Ah, okay. But if it's cut already from the house, what will happen to the what will happen the, to the apple? It's not nice. The yeah. finger, right become become black. So, yeah. Yes. Not, yeah, not, not the not the same other fruits like orange when they peel it from the house. There's no changes of the color. But for the apple, it's changed very quickly. So it's not nice to give the child that it's already no. When it's all it's a whole apple, we can use the the knife and cut it. Cut. That's all. But then oh, we will use our gloves. Please use. When you do cutting, please use the gloves and throw it again. Something like that. Yeah, and of course. We'll share, if they have their container, we will use their container. Sa? Anything? Yeah. Okay, Miss Anne. Thank you. You're welcome. If you are not uh, for example, if you are not clear with your decision, please come to the nurse, yeah, and ask. Yeah, ask. Yeah. Yeah. ask. Every time if you're not so sure, if you're not so sure, me sometimes also not so sure, like for example, that uh, a child bring this apple, and then I said, how can I give to that child, and it is really big, and then Shama has very small mouth, and then she said, what we will do, we have to cut from our nice kitchen wash yeah. then you have to wear your gloves and that's all walk out and give to the child so any question please really? no more miss no. no more so far no more so far okay so everything is cleared hopefully yes. everything, okay uh so for example that Someone might forget, so we can, we are all responsible to knock, tap her, tap her shoulder, tap her back, to, to remind. We have to remind each other. You know, we will not, uh, we will not, we will not be shy to remind her because we are, we are, we are as one. We are a team. So. But when you do approach her or any one of us approach in a nice way, this one, no one is around and talk to her, something like that. Okay, so if everything is cleared, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye. Bye, Mitana. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.